What up guys, it's Matt. <clears throat> uh, sorry it hasn't been a video in a minute. Uh, just had a lot of stuff going on uh, with school. Uh, today I have successfully completed two of my first three exams. So my basic therapeutics class uh, was my first class this morning. And then my last class was cardiopulmonary A and P. Uh, luckily, we do our exams on D2L on our computers. Uh, so we are lucky enough to get instant gratification. Uh, so basically, we do the tests, we submit, and we immediately see our grade. So um, basic therapeutics. So that's basically been encompassing things like uh, H cylinder and E cylinder gas calculations, uh, duration calculations. Um, kind of your entry level therapeutic stuff. Um, a little bit of math involved, you know, multiplication and division, uh, some decimal stuff. Overall, not too bad, and then just kind of knowledge that I guess would seem a little out of date, but the NBRC tests on it, so they still teach it. Uh, and I got actually a 49 out of 50 on that exam. So uh, I was pretty comfortable with that material as it was. Um, didn't do a whole lot of studying. About an hour this morning I spent studying for that. Um, and then he actually told us that uh, once it was all complete, uh, he evaluated basically all the grades of everybody in the class and decided he would throw out three questions uh, which meant everybody basically got a point so my overall score was actually a 52 out of 50 uh, so I was pretty happy with that um, then my second teacher uh, the intro to respiratory care teacher made us a deal he said if we didn't study cardio uh, pulmonary AMP in his class he would uh, in class half an hour early uh, which right for our 30 minute lunch breaks we'd have a full hour uh, and he was good on his word so I just skipped lunch I just stayed in and just studied AMP because I'm definitely weaker at AMP than I am at basic therapeutics uh, that's pretty much all I really studied this weekend was AMP uh, come to test I got a 45 out of 50 so I was really happy with that uh, that's a 90% that is a B in our class. Uh, hung out a little afterwards once everybody's done. We were kind of hounding him a little bit. Anything he thought he might be throwing out. And he said it looked like at least one he'd be throwing out. So uh, 46 out of 50 looks like that uh, would be my score, which is still a B. Uh, because a 94 and higher is an A in our class. Uh, but we'll see ultimately what happens tomorrow. Um, I do know what question I missed for basic. That's something to do with um, opposing gas pressures inside of a valve. And uh, I don't know. I just kind of missed that picture slide or something in my head. I really don't know exactly what happened. Uh, I did something about a diaphragm and, and versus gas pressure. It was supposed to be spring valve and gas pressure. Um, not a big deal considering my overall score so uh, cardio AMP I know one of the five that I missed had to do with uh, pneumothorax uh, for some reason I had in my head it's a, a pierce of the thoracic cavity when it's actually the pleural cavity um, or something to that effect I really don't know it's just it's hard to try to think about it after you've done the test uh, but that was one that I had a different answer than other people um, but well, better scores than me so uh, and then there was a lot more questions about the linings uh, the epithelial linings so the non-ciliated stratified pseudo stratified ciliated um, and the nasal cavity the oral cavity the pharynx the larynx I uh, did not study that stuff as much as I, I basically knew the linings of the nasal cavity that was about it uh, didn't really look into the epithelial linings. Um, 
even the uh, the epithelial lining of the capillaries at the gas exchange site. I, I mean, I remember reading about it. I don't remember uh, that may have been one that I missed too. Overall, though, not not upset with my tests. Um, so tomorrow, I think he said we'll go over like the top five missed questions in class. Uh, so hopefully that shines a little light on the ones that I may have missed. Um, I don't have my intro test until October 11th. So in the meantime, we'll see what the next chapters bring. Um, and I will keep you guys updated. But uh, like always, guys, thanks for watching my videos. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment. I'm going to keep doing them. And uh, I hope they're there to help. I don't know if I'll ever do anything where like, I, I follow myself on a study guide or anything. Um, my studying's pretty boring. It's just pretty much me rewriting guide notes over and over and over and over again. And kind of a, a brute memorization style. So... Uh, I don't know if I'll film any of that, but um, anyways, guys, take care. Have a great day, and I uh, hope to see you guys soon.